Hello from Slidered and hello from Weeps. What's up folks? In this vid, I'm going to start talking about string class methods. Now so far we have discussed how this class works and what we can do with it. But it's time we actually figured out what are the different methods and what are the different things we can accomplish with those methods. So that being said, let me directly jump into NetBeans and show you hands on what happens with different methods. So let's get this plane flying. So here in NetBeans, I have my empty project, which is web string test and there's a package. There's a main function over here. All right. So now let me make a dummy string over here so that we can play with that. I'll say string s is hello from waves and slide node. The first, as you guys remember the structure of a string, everything has a position. The string character, this is at position 0, 1, 2, 3 and this goes so on, right? So first thing we are going to find a method that gives us what character is present at what position. So that is called char at. If I say s dot char at, I just need to give the position. So for example, if I say zero, this is going to give me back a character. So I'm going to store that character in char c, something like that. And then I'm going to simply print it out by saying system dot out dot print ln. And I'm going to print c over here. So let us see what happens. Control s, shift f6. As you guys can see, it returns h at that position right so again if you put something else like say 25 over here control s shift f6 again it gives you n which is probably somewhere over here this n if you exceed the limit by saying 35 let us see what happens in that case as you guys can see there's an exception saying string index out of bounds exception so remember from 0 to whatever this length is till that point you will get the character which is present at that position otherwise you will get an exception saying string index out of bounds exception so i hope you guys understood what this method caret does let's move further now just like character at that gives a character at a given position we have a method called code point that gives the a sky value of that character at the given position for example if i say s dot code point at if i say zero this is gonna give me the a sky value of the character which is at the zeroth position i can store this as integer remember ascii values are integers so i'm gonna say int ascii equals to something like that and then i'm gonna simply print ascii over here let me again run this Control s shift f6 as you guys can see it says 104 now just to verify this this is right or wrong you can try one thing and put a over here and try run this again if you remember a has an ascii value of 65 so this is working perfectly again the same case arises if you put something like 35 over here that's probably going to give you an exception saying string index out of bounds exception now we are going to do comparison between two strings so for that i'm going to make another string by saying string s2 equals to let's say hello only all right now there is this method called compare to that can compare two strings you can call that by saying s dot compare to and you can say s2 this actually gives you an integer so let us see what that integer looks like by saying int x equals to that and let me print that integer out for you guys x control s shift f6 now if you guys notice you get a number 24 and you're wondering what the hell this means here's what it means the first string s is bigger than the second string s2 when that is the case it returns a positive integer all right now if both are same it gives you zero but if the second string s2 is bigger than the first string s then it gives you a negative integer so let's actually try each of these methods i'm gonna go ahead copy paste this entire thing now as you guys notice s and s2 are same so s dot compare to s2 is gonna give us zero there you go now let me make it actually longer by saying something like Whoa. now if i run this if you guys notice s2 is bigger than s so we're gonna get a negative number but again remember this is s compared with s2 it's almost like saying s minus s2 some kind of subtraction like that if you say s2 dot compare s you guys can probably guess the answer will be exactly the reverse which is positive six so you guys understand understand how this is working you can use this to check if two strings are of equal length and stuff like that now let us see what happens in one weird case here is something now both of them are saying now let's say instead of capital H I have small h over here what do you think will be the answer and you guys are probably baffled over here you're saying minus 32 and what the hell is going on remember the ASCII value of capital H and small h are different that is why there is a difference of minus 32 but you know that this is hello from waves and slide nerd this is also the same thing right when you want to compare text without considering whether it is small capital or whatever use the same method compare to with an, another extension called ignore case now this method compares both the strings and it ignores whether they are small or capital if you see now this will give you the answer zero 
just like you wanted right so this is compared to ignore case now let me go ahead and show you what can what can be done as far as concatenation is concerned now with to add two strings there are many ways we can say string say s3 equals to s plus s2 this is also concatenation right and you can simply print s3 over here and you guys will notice that both of the strings are mixed now the other way to do this is of course remove the plus sign and put dot and say concat s2 now what this concat function does is the same thing what your plus does and it returns you back a string which you can store in s3 and we are printing that s3 again now go ahead and take a look it's the same output over here now next in the list of our methods is this function called contains where we want to check sometimes if this has this string over here has some word or character that we want let's say for example we want to check if this contains the word waves this will give you a boolean if it contains it's going to be true otherwise it's going to be false so you can simply make a boolean variable by saying boolean yes or no and i'm going to simply print this thing by system dot out dot print ln now this will give you a true control s shift f6 as you guys can see true even if i put just a part of the string by saying for example in this from if i take just r o over here it's still true if i take this space and this f r over here it is still true but if i take something else like say mil then it's false so this contains method is very simple it allows you to check if this part is present inside this string somewhere or the other so this does it for the first part of our string class methods if in the next video i'm going to start talking about more methods if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know what you think about this thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in the next video have a nice day